wrong place, wrong time, I don't know. I think it's a blessing. The right place, right time. Got shit all over me. Finally made it out over here to Florencia. The uh, seems to be like a pretty big city, almost like Rome. Um, and this is the region of Florence, of course. It's about 2:30 p.m. and we're walking around. Finally found parking. Went through some uh, narrow streets and gotta say, it felt like uh, was in the Italian job, moving around and uh, making our way through. So that was an experience of self just driving, getting through. Parked at a uh, at their train station there's a specialized there's a special parking right there public parking and uh, out on the streets let's see what's up Guys, we're at the uh, beautiful Santa Maria di Flore Church. Look at the artwork outside. I'm just amazed how still intact the carvings, what appears to be stone slash marble work, still intact. Again, not a fan of, uh, you know, really admiring art and sculptures, but but look at that. It's, it's hard to miss the beauty in that, the painstaking efforts just to carve that out. I mean, I would love to get in and check out the art and that, but no. Time's not on our side, otherwise I would, but it's just beautiful. Gothic art. So guys, uh, we've reached the uh, Palacio Vecchio um, and it hosts, as you saw over there, a replica of Michelangelo's David and uh, you'll see some notable works of uh, sculptures uh, during the Renaissance period. Some beautiful, beautiful art and um, if you're up for some coffee or whatnot, it's like a typical pia piazzo. You've got coffee shops all around. So, something breathtaking for sure.
So it's not too far from uh, Michelangelo's replica David. And we're off to uh, the boar sculpture. So this uh, market is a few minutes away from uh, the sculpture we saw and right around it is uh, the famous boar's head. Apparently uh, stick your hand into the mouth for good luck of some sort. And it actually seems to be uh, some sort of fountain. Alright guys, so again just a 2-3 minute walk uh, from the boar's head. That's where the center is, the square that we came from. Interesting architecture right there. Got some sort of building structure as well on top of a bridge. Don't really see that. And those apartment buildings, interesting as well. So I'm getting to the other side, the actual bridge, Ponte Vecchio, the one with the uh, buildings on the bridge itself. A lot of jewelry stores out over here. So I'm walking across from the other side right now. But uh, yeah, just a whole lot of gold stores out over here. And if I had to presume right, this bridge most likely provided a vital route for merchants. Almost reminds me of uh, the gold souks. Also lucked out in today's weather. T-shirt weather, really. Haven't even uh, put on my jacket. I got it because you know it's gonna get cold later on. But just perfect weather to sit out, wear a t-shirt. So got uh, got lucky with that.
So while I was at the bridge, I noticed a lot of the folks having uh, the sandwiches from this place, at least from the wrappers. It wasn't too far, it was a two minute uh, walk from the bridge across. And bingo, so they've got two stores waiting on the other one. So yeah, be a little uh, more observant when you travel and see what people are having. Um, and let's see, let's try the sandwich, let's see how good it is. Guys, just bought a new t-shirt. Shit happens. I mean, guys, can you believe my luck? All I did was just get close to the store. Should I send you guys a video of what goes on in the cafe? And then this happens. The bird shit on me. So I got myself one of the souvenir t-shirts. Hey, listen, like I said, shit's gonna happen. You gotta learn how to deal with it when traveling. And this is it. Took it in my smile, with a smile and in my stride. And boom, that's a t-shirt change. <sighs> All right, guys, if you haven't guessed it, sunset, 6.20 p.m. And we're at the Uffizi Museum grounds huh? Very charming building as you can see behind me Even more beautiful um, after sunset So in case if you're wondering how uh, that sandwich was, it was pretty good. Um, I just pretty much asked the guy, what's your most popular sandwich? And it seemed like the one with the most meat. Got ourselves a bottle of wine and just sat a weir uh, within the uh, confines of the uh, Uffizi uh, Museum and just had our sandwiches. And it was really, really good. Again, just being observing to see what what's going around the locals were having that sandwich and it hit the spot i wish i could uh put a video on that but my uh, phone had a bit of a technical issue so didn't have that but definitely stop by that sandwich place won't regret it mm -hmm.